The first bionic prosthetic leg that can be controlled by neurosignals from the amputee's brain has been tested on a 32-year-old man who lost his lower leg in a motorcycle accident. Scientists from the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, or RIC, designed and fitted the motorized bionic prosthetic leg. It is controlled by brain signals sent down the user's spinal cord to the nerves in his upper leg, which in turn activates electrodes in the prosthetic to make the leg move. Bionic arms that can be controlled by the amputee's thoughts have been available as a prosthesis for some time, but this is the first prosthetic leg to use this kind of technology. The team from RIC, using an $8 million research fund from the United States Army Telemedicine and Advanced Technology Research Center, has come up with the most sophisticated mechanical software for bionic legs. It allows users of the prosthetic to move their knee and ankle naturally, including being able to climb up and down stairs without dragging the weight of their prosthetic leg behind them. The leg is still in the prototype stage, as the scientists work on the technicalities, and try to minimize software error rates.